from OrgSpring. Thanks for joining me for this video tutorial and walkthrough of a new application that will help you integrate your Gmail or Google Apps with your Salesforce CRM. There aren't too many applications that do this. There are even fewer that do it for a reasonable price. Most of them are in the $100 a month or the $50 a month per user range. This one is significantly cheaper and it integrates better than any of the other apps. So we are going to walk through this application, show you how you can get it, install it, and even how you can try it free for a month. Before I do that, I'm going to give you a little bit of a shameless self-promotion, which you see on the screen now, although it is for a good cause, in my opinion. Uh, what you see on the screen is orgspring.org. This is the new nonprofit arm of orgspring.com. Orgspring.org is the address, and we are providing free websites, uh, not simple websites, but custom websites, uh, websites that would cost hundreds or thousands of dollars included with all the features that we are including. And we are providing them to nonprofits, other nonprofits who are just starting or who are starting to raise their profile and need more features in their websites, things like event management, online donation tools, photo and video sliders, things like that. So uh, check us out at orgspring.org. You can enter your email in this little box here and click notify me. And when we launch, uh, we will, of course, notify you when the site is live. And we're providing these services uh, on a massive scale. Right now, we just have a few organizations that we're working with in beta mode to test their websites and get them up and running. So uh, join us at orgspring.org. Come on back. And uh, hopefully by the end of the summer 2012, we will have that ready for you. Now, without further ado, back on to the integration from Salesforce. So we're going to take a brief look at our Salesforce integration here. If you are a nonprofit, you can get a 10-user uh, license for free from Salesforce. Uh, it's obviously not guaranteed. There's an application process, almost like writing a grant, that you have to go through, and it does take a little bit of time. But this is a website that many of the Fortune 500 companies use, many of the larger nonprofit organizations use, and it is just fantastic. It's a CRM, Customer Relationship Management System, or Contact Relationship Manager. Uh, and it allows you uh, to put in a lot of your client or customer contact information. And it's just a fantastic program, and it'll help you run your office and your organization much more efficiently than not using a database or some type of CRM. So typically the problem has been one does not wholly exist inside of a database. You need things like Gmail or some other email application where you trade emails back and forth during the course of business uh, and you need a project management type of program. Now this one particular application called Cirrus came along and it integrates between your Salesforce account and your Google Apps or your Gmail account. Now this is nothing new. There have been other apps that have integrated these two programs, but they've been very expensive. And Cirrus has found a way to do it and to do it very cheaply. In fact, for less than $10 a month, you can get this integration. And for nonprofits, it's even cheaper. And inside the actual text of this post and in this video toward the end, we'll include a link along with a code where you can go to their website and get 50% off the price if you are a nonprofit. You can use that code and get 50% off, which is fantastic. It makes this very cheap, very affordable for nonprofits, and it'll make you much more effective in your daily work. So we're going to give you a little idea of what this is like. Now, here's John Smith, who runs the John Smith Foundation, a dummy organization that we use for a lot of our tutorials. And you will notice that we have a lot of his information here in our Salesforce installation. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could just see his information when you're browsing Gmail, for instance, if he sent you an email and you could see all of that information there. Well, you can. You may have used something called Reportive, which is a great Chrome extension plugin which shows you that person's social media plugins or social media accounts inside of your Gmail account. But this is a little different. This actually shows you all of the Salesforce information directly in the account in Gmail. So you can see here we have an email. I'm in the OrgSpring Google Apps, uh, and I'm looking particularly at my Gmail right now, and I've gotten an email from John Smith. So I'm going to click on John Smith, and I'm going to see on the right side in the sidebar this application from Cirrus Insight shows me all of John Smith's information directly from his Salesforce contact. 
you see his account name or his company name there with some other information in the pop-up box, his title, his phone number, his email, the description of it as an organization, his address, and you can click on that and go straight to a Google Map. And then it gives us the ability to create new tasks, new events, which would be a calendar call right there. And then you could log a call and you could see all the other open activities for him right here. And this can all be done through Gmail. You never have to go back into Salesforce to do this kind of editing. And this is really great and it, it increases the efficiency with which you will work and do your tests and accomplish your projects. So now let's dig in and show you how this functionality really works. And let's read this email. Uh, John Smith is saying, of course, this is a fake email. Craig, we just got funding for a new project we'd like for you to work on. We always like to get these emails. It's a website that will help us raise awareness around our new educational center. We received a grant for 25 iPads and 25 new computers. Great. We'd like you to manage the project. So he's asking us to start a new project for him. So we might do something like this might be an opportunity for us in Salesforce. So under his account, we're going to create a new opportunity. So we would just click new here. And this is going to take us directly to Salesforce from the email and open up the opportunity fields. So we will come here and we will say, this is the website for new education center. And this is already linked to the John Smith Foundation. We'll put an estimated close date in here. Let's just put it two weeks down the road. It's a website design. And we will save that. We'll put stage down here and just save this. Now in Salesforce, you'll notice this opportunity comes up with some of the information here. And if we were to go back to the John Smith account here where we have his John Smith name, this is his contact detail and he works for the John Smith Foundation. And we'll page down and you'll see the opportunity pops up automatically in his field, the website for New Education Center. Now if we go back to Gmail and we refresh this page, upon reload you'll notice on the right sidebar here the information from Salesforce reloads and down below there's an open opportunity. Of course we could hover over that and it's going to give us some opportunity information and we can of course link and do other activities and things and interact with this contact or account inside of Salesforce. And that's great, Craig. It looks like it integrates well when you've already got a contact or an organization in Salesforce. And that is true. It integrates very well. But it also is extremely easy to create a new contact or a new organization from scratch from one of your emails. And let's take a look at that. You can see here I just got an email from somebody named Tim Farina 167 It looks like it was an orgspring.com website contact form. Again, this is just a dummy email. But I'll click in here, and this person has some information, and they're looking for some help. And you'll see here on the right side panel, it's saying Tim Farina 167 at hotmail.com. There's no record of this person in Salesforce. So we can create a lead as if he might be potential business or create a contact. Now let's assume I know this person and we want to skip the lead and just go straight to the contact. You can create a lead too, it's the same type of thing. In this case I'm going to create contact. And it opens up some stock forms that will integrate directly with Salesforce. So the first name, Tim, last name we can get from his signature right here, Farina. Uh, we're going to select an account. Uh, this account does not yet exist, so we're going to create a new account, and that gives us an extra drop-down box for account name, and we can see it's called the Farina Organization. His job title, although it's not listed, we'll assume that he's Executive Director. He does list his phone number, very Hollywoodish there. And then a description, which we'll leave blank for now because we don't know much about him other than he needs some help. But we do see that he is at 123 Main Street in Beverly Hills, California. So we will add that in, and that rounds out his contact, and we save contact. Now all of this gets added here, and we could just click either on his name or the organization, and it'll link us directly to Salesforce. So for now, let's click on the name Tim Farina. And there it is. It brings us right to his Salesforce page with the information that we just put in. 
We can go back to Gmail, we can interact with him here, or just go back to our Gmail account and see his information here. And then we can send emails, log events, log calls. Uh, let's assume that I just spoke with Tim Farina and decided to give him a buzz and I wanted to log a call. I can click that right here and say maybe follow up from email type of call. Click on the date, it inputs today's date, or you can click on a date from this calendar. Again, we'll just type that there. The priority was low. Follow up on his email. You can see my spelling is not great. He needs some help. And we'll save that call. And of course that saves inside of his activity history. And then if we were to maybe say, I need to follow up with him down the road, we can do a task and we can come in here and say follow up next week on services offered and we could put that in maybe for the 14th it's a high priority and we'll save that and you'll see that that information is saved we have one open activity with him which is follow up next week and we can click on that and it'll take us in Salesforce directly to that task, that activity, which we need to do. We can attach things right here to it. If it's a document that I need to follow up with him, or maybe I sent him a brochure, or maybe he sent me information. All of that increases the integration between Gmail and Salesforce and makes these two programs very easy to use, this one app. So you might be asking yourself, hey, this is great. How do I get this app? And that's a good question. Of course, you have to have Salesforce for your organization. It integrates with most of the levels of Salesforce. We are going to post a link up. It'll be a shortened link, which you can go directly to this application in the App Exchange. Download the app for free and get started with a 30-day free trial. You'll go to the link that you see on screen, and you will sign up in the email box, and we will immediately email you a code that you can use to get the nonprofit discount on their website to get this application to integrate Gmail and your Salesforce application. Unfortunately, we cannot give out the code to everyone. The organization does not allow us to give out the code to everyone, so uh, I can't just plaster it up here on a YouTube video that's available to the public. You have to send me an email and I will respond to you with the code. Unfortunately, that's the only way we can do it. It's an extra step, but it's worth it. We use the program the application all the time and it's just fantastic. We can't say enough nice things about it. So uh, visit that link, shoot us an email, and we will send you that code so you can start accessing this program right away. Thanks again for watching and a reminder, go to orgspring.org and sign up to be notified when we launch uh, the nonprofit arm of our company which is providing free websites to nonprofits. Thanks again and look for more tutorials at our blog.